Hello there crafty friends, it's Alicia of the Call Me Crafty Owl YouTube channel and it is time for another alternative for the July 2019 paper pumpkin. I hope you'll stick around and see what I make. Thanks so much for stopping by today. If this is your first time to my channel, I hope by the end of this video that you'll be inspired to hit that subscribe button below. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. You know I love it when you stop by. Over the past few days, I have been sharing some alternatives using the July 2019 Paper Pumpkin Kit, which is the On My Mind Kit. If you would like to see those videos, I will link them in the description box below. So far for alternatives, I have created three cards that kind of went with the same layout as the instructions, but I used clear card bases for each of them. And then I also created a card using the ship and lots of other elements from the kits, but I created a sand shaker window out of the ship wheel. For today's card, I'm going to be using some of the stuff that you might normally recycle or throw away as the main focal point of my card. If you watched last month, this might look a little familiar the technique I'm using. This will require some items that don't come from the kit, but a lot of it still does, so let's find out what that is. I will be using your The Best stamp from the stamp set. I brought the twine out because I might use it. I'm not 100% sure yet. I got the sequins out for the same reason. I just love that these come with the adhesive already on the back. Now for the trash. I have these strips left over from cards that I've already made and now that all my leaves are punched out from this piece, this is kind of ready for the recycle bin but I'm not going to put it there. I'm going to make use of it. I did go ahead and I'm going to be using the card that came in the kit. It's kind of the craft colored with the embossed dots. And then for the items from my stash, I got out my archival ink in sepia. I thought for my sentiment I wanted to go with a brown. For my glitter today, I'm going to go with the smoky quartz. Again, it kind of reminded me of that background paper, so I'm trying to tie that in a little bit more. I got out a scrap of off-white cardstock, and then I will also be using my stick it adhesive to get my glitter to adhere to the card. Let's go ahead and get started. As with most of my projects, I like to start by doing as much of the cutting as I can. I want this off-white cardstock to be a mat behind my focal point. So I'm just gonna measure this and see what it is, and I'm gonna cut this just a little larger. I'm going to cut this to three quarters of an inch and because my fingers don't fit under that guide I am going to tack this down with some scotch removable tape so I can cut it. For now I'm going to cut these other two pieces to a half an inch tall. The next step is to get my glittered piece ready. So the stick and adhesive I usually use if I'm die cutting something delicate that I need adhesive on. And the great thing is, about it is, it is double sided adhesive and it is very, very thin. What I'm gonna do is cut a piece that is just as large as my green scrap. And you want to try not to touch it because it does come up and then you won't have adhesive where you need it. There are some places where the adhesive peeled back with the backing. So what I tried to do is put that where I think I'm going to put all my pattern paper strips later because of course the glitter will not stick to that part. Once that is ready, I will use my nonstick scissors to just cut out right around that green piece. I 
Because the next step is messy and I do want to preserve as much of the excess glitter as I can, I'm going to be using my tidy tray when I go to put the glitter on my scrap. That way the excess will stay in the tray and then it has the hole in the bottom that I can just pour it right back in here. Make sure everything's pressed down nicely so the glitter doesn't get under any openings. And then you're just going to pour it all over the white area because that's where the sticky is. And you don't have to be careful with the glitter because again, you're just going to put it right back in your container. This is why you're going to have glitter on you for days. I really think by pressing down, it helps get that glitter in there where the adhesive is, makes it stick nicely. I try to tap off as much as I can over the tray and you'll see there like I said where the adhesive pulled up with the stick it sheet it didn't adhere but that's okay because that is where I will put my labels or my banners later Now that I have the sentiment stamped, I'm going to go ahead and start getting the card put together. I will just be using my regular adhesive to get this onto the off-white card mat. I'm going to go ahead and cut some fishtails in the end of each of my pattern paper strips. I just cut a little slit up the center and then cut in from each side to that point. And now I'm just going to try to figure out how I want to layer these. So my sentiment fits on here and it covers up the open area. I like the layout of this right here. So I'm going to go ahead just so I can get everything together like I want it. I'm bringing in my Tim Holtz tiny attacher. I'm going to go ahead and get this put on the card front so I can start working on my label cluster down here. I think I'm going to add a twine nest so I need to make sure that this is adhered down. get myself a length of twine. I can always cut it off if it's too much. And then I'm just going to start wrapping this kind of in circles. I'll be using the mini dimensionals that came with the kit to adhere this to my card. I'm going to make sure that I have one at the back of each of the staples. And then I'm going to put a couple where the twine nest is just to help hold everything down and make sure that stays together. The final thing I need to do is add some of the sequins so I can cover up that spot right there where there was no adhesive. And I'm going to use two of the big ones and one of the small ones in kind of the frosted color. I think there's enough sparkle with the glitter that I didn't want to pull in the shiny sequins as well. I hope you liked that look at how I created today's alternative. If you did, as always, I appreciate a thumbs up. Until my next video, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye-bye. 
Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. I hope that you'll consider clicking on one of the videos or playlists I have linked above. And if you're interested in any of the products or tools that I use in the video, I do have some links in the description box.